let me uh, introduce uh, our first uh, guest, uh, a very special guest. Uh, His Excellency Ambassador of uh, Poland to Israel, Mr. Uh, Marek Magierowski. Mr. Ambassador, thank you very much for finding uh, time to joining us. I know that you are a great supporter of um, programs like this. So again, thank you very much for, for joining us. Thank you. I don't feel very special, actually. But uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And uh, thanks a lot for the invitation to this event. After a series of meetings devoted to the common history and common memory of our two nations. Uh, first of all, let me extend my sincere gratitude to the Galicia's Jewish Museum in Krakow and the Israeli Ministry of Education for the initiative and uh, the long-standing commitment to combating prejudices and stereotypes, both in the Polish and Israeli society, mostly by means of youth exchanges, by far the best way to connect nations. Um, one of the intellectual hurdles I've had to overcome since my um, arrival in Israel was the following challenge, how to change the overwhelming perception of Poland among young uh, Israelis as a country uh, perceived too frequently as a huge symmetry, a land associated solely with the greatest tragedy of the Jewish nation, namely the Holocaust. How to convince the Israeli public that our uh, bilateral relations uh, must not be squeezed into those uh, six gloomy years of the Second World War and uh, German atrocities committed on Polish soil. Of course, history is uh, inescapable. The Holocaust will remain forever the core of the Polish-Israeli or the Polish-Jewish contemporary discourse. But well, also because uh, of the grievances that many Holocaust survivors and their descendants with regard to the unethical or even inhumane conduct of their Polish neighbors, but also because of unspeakable losses of the Polish nation itself during the very same uh, period. And the heroism of thousands of Poles who did rescue their Jewish brethren despite uh, the circumstances. More than uh, 3 million and 300,000 citizens of Jewish descent lived in Poland uh, before the war, the largest such community in Europe, a thriving one, socially mobile, entrepreneurs, doctors, lawyers, architects, academic scholars, with uh, their newspapers, theaters, yeshivas, most of them speaking Yiddish, a bit isolated, but some speaking Polish and seamlessly integrating into the Polish society. Uh, many of them feeling even more Polish than Jewish, especially those raised and educated in secular families. Uh, that's why when I try to explain to my Israeli friends what the Holocaust meant to us and still means to us. I always say, you know, with the 3 million Polish Jews who were murdered during the Holocaust, we lost a significant part of our own identity, of our culture, of our legacy. This is a sad, frustrating story. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I'm really happy when I see all those efforts to bring the Jewish-Polish legacy back to life. Again, I'm truly grateful to the organizers of this event, above all to Liat Salomon, I don't know if she's with us tonight. The last time we met, it was in May 2019, a year and a half ago. It was a, a live meeting at the embassy and we were not wearing masks. I just looked at the pictures of that meeting earlier today. Hopefully at our next meeting, we'll be able to celebrate the end of the pandemic and the return to normalcy in our cooperation, in the cooperation between the Polish Embassy in Israel and the Ministry of Education. Uh, thank you very much and um, have a nice evening. Have a fruitful discussion. Thanks a lot. I'm here and I also have the honor to say to you, thank you, Jinkuya Bardo. And uh, to say that we as a Ministry of Education have luck because we 
also have uh, Mr. Megorovsky, Katajina, and his team uh, in Israel that uh, do a lot for youth meeting, and we also have the same support in Varsha. So I'm glad to invite uh, Ms. Tal ben Alon, uh, the charge of the first of Israel ambassador in uh, Poland, and uh, she will congratulate you. Hello, everyone. Shalom, Jindobre. Uh, thank you for the I'm very happy to be here. Marek, it's always good to see you. And we've been meeting a lot lately on Zoom. And I have to tell you that from Poland, I think things when it comes to the relations and the perspective of Poland in Israeli eyes, it looks much more optimistic because when I look on things from here, uh, and I'm speaking before COVID, of course, we have so many tourists coming from Israel to Poland and they're not just coming to learn more about their roots or the history of the Jewish nation. They're coming because they fell in love with the country and they fell in love with the people and the food and the culture and the landscapes. Um, if you'll go on the many, many Facebook groups of Israelis traveling in Warsaw or in Poland in general, they miss Poland, I think, even more than I miss going home at the moment. So <laughs> I'm very hopeful. And indeed, the relations are very good between the two countries. And we have a lot in common, whether it's uh, our history. And it's not just the period of World War II and the Holocaust. It goes back almost 1,000 years. And most of it was good. And Hopefully, it's not just history, it's also present and future because the relations are getting stronger and stronger. We're actually celebrating this year uh, 30 years of renewal of the diplomatic relations between Israel and Poland. And uh, there's very much uh, a lot to celebrate. And while things aren't perfect, and of course, we have to encounter topics as Holocaust remembrance and anti-Semitism. I have to say that in my two and a half years here, I met so many people that are truly interested to learn more about the Jewish neighbors that used to live in the towns and cities where they are living now, that are dedicating their free time either to uh, work on rebuilding cemeteries, to renovating synagogues, uh, to establishing small museums for the Jewish communities that once were here. So I think the future is very bright when it comes to our relations. And the future depends on you guys. You're the next generations. If you will be open-minded, if you'll be interested in learning more about each other, in finding out how much alike you are. And I'm not just speaking about the many languages, the many words we have in common, the food, and the many customs that you probably think are Jewish and you probably think are Polish and you'll discover that you're basically sharing the same things. And, but also be open to each other. Speak about the differences, hear the different narratives, and agree on something or don't agree it's also okay it's okay to say that i think different but keep on communicating with each other and i'm sure in a few years 10 20 one of you maybe will be sitting in my place and one of you will sit uh, in the same chair Malik is sitting today and you will tell the future kids how wonderful the relationship between poland and israel is so uh, good luck and enjoy today, and I hope this is only the beginning of a very, very good cooperation between you guys. So good luck. <laughs>